In this video, you learn how to quickly convert a spreadsheet into a beautiful, responsive, and fully functional database web application using Oracle Apex on Autonomous Database. You learn how to create an Apex service, provision a workspace, and then build an Apex application. To get started with, navigate to your browser and then go to cloud.oracle.com. Enter your Oracle Cloud account name and click Next. Then click Continue. Enter your username and password and then click Sign In. From within the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, click the left navigation menu, click Developer Services, and then click Apex Application Development. You want to create an Apex service. So first select a compartment, click Create Apex Service. Scroll down a bit. Make sure you turn on the always free switch. Scroll in a bit again. Enter your password. And then for confirm password. And then come down and click create Apex service. Your screen shows provisioning initially but will turn to available quickly. Click launch Apex. Enter your database admin password and then click sign into administration. You want to create a workspace now, click create workspace. Enter a new database username and enter a password and then click create workspace. Your Apex workspace is now created. Click the workspace name and then log in using your workspace username and password. Click sign in. In your Apex workspace homepage, navigate to App Builder and then you want to create a new application from a file. So click create a new app and then click from a file. You can copy and paste data or drag and drop the file, click copy and paste and then you want to select sample data, project and tasks. Click next. Data is now loaded into Apex. You need to enter a table name. In this example, let's enter projects. Scroll down a bit and then click load data. Data is now loaded. You see 73 rows is processed. Click create application. You're now in the create application wizard. So let's enter a name for the application. For example, projects app. And then you can change the application icon. So click set icon here. Let's pick up a color and then let's pick up an icon, for example, cloud here and then click save icon. Your application icon is saved. Now let's change the appearance of this particular application. The default shows Vita site menu. Let's pick up a theme style, for example, a redwood light. And then you see navigation options here, side menu, top menu, and mega menu. Let's stick to side menu as is and then click save changes. Now scroll down a bit. And you see here a couple of pages provided by Apex. You see home page, dashboard page, and the fasted search page here. And then an interactive report with form projects report is created. And then a calendar is also created based on the spreadsheet data that you have uploaded. And then you also see here features. You can either select any of these features or you can select all of these features by clicking check all. Scrolling down a bit, you see settings here. So let's now in this example, let's just go ahead and accept the default pages as is. If you want to add any additional pages at this point, you can click add page. Let's scroll down a bit. And then in this case, let's click the install progressive web app feature. Click this particular checkbox and then let's click create application. The application creation progress is shown now. The application has been created successfully. Now you want to run the application. Let's click run application. Let's enter the workspace username and password and then click sign in. Now let's review the pages that have been created in the application. 
you can just click this navigation icon here you can see home dashboard project search projects report and then calendar let's click dashboard and let's close this you can now see a dashboard page with four different charts being displayed for you you can either change any of these or add more to the dashboard let's click the next one which is project search which is a fasted search page in the fasted search page what you see basically are facets to the left side and then you see a report to the right side let's close this again so if you see here there are a couple of facets and selecting any one of them for example let's select migrate from legacy server and the project and you can now see that the report gets filtered and refreshed to the right side let's also select one more like for example let's select mark under assign to you now see that the report gets refreshed accordingly you can also review the chart for particular facets for example uh, let's click the show chart option for project but before doing so let's clear these and then now let's come back to project and then let's click show chart you can toggle between two different types of charts now let's move on to the next type of uh, report which is projects report which is an interactive report basically let's close this again and then you can see there is edit icon for each of the records let's click edit and then you can see that the form dialog has been displayed for you scroll on a bit and then you can see cost is numeric let's edit this and uh, enter some text and then say apply changes you can now see that the validation error it displayed cost must be a valid number let's close this click actions and you can see columns filter you can see data where you can sort the data aggregate the data compute uh, create a computed column here and then you can also do a flashback under format you can create a control break you can also highlight the data and you can create a chart you can do group by pivot you can also save the report let's move on to the next type of page which is a calendar page based on the spreadsheet data the calendar displays various entries for example in this case project details along with the start date you can also change this display for example let's try to change this to display task name to do this you need to go down to the developer toolbar and you see here in the developer toolbar page name for example here you see page 6 which corresponds to the calendar page let's click page 6 this navigates you to the page designer where you can make some changes to the page components let's select calendar in page designer and then you click attributes under attributes you want to change the display column to task name and then you can save and run the page let's see what happens now you now see that the entries display task name instead of the project name and now finally let's see how to install this app as a progressive web application on your device in the create application wizard we already selected the feature install as a progressive web app now because of that you now see here install app button so let's click install app and see what happens it opens up a dialog box asking you whether to install this particular app or not let's click install and now you can see that this is installed on the device and you can run this application from within the device but not from within the browser for example let's click any of these pages and they run pretty much fine as is this concludes the demo in this demo you learn how to convert a spreadsheet into a beautiful responsive web application using Oracle Apex on autonomous database